guys. Um, so I am super excited about today's project that I'm doing. This is called the Turtle Life Cycle. Um, this is not my original design. A really good friend of mine and an amazing artist by the name of Celeste Acosta. She originally made this and I loved it so much I bought it from her. And she also gave me permission to teach you guys how to make um, this design. So another thing I wanted to show you was Celeste has an Etsy store called Emerald Coast Gifts Florida. Um, Florida is FL. I'm going to leave the link to that into her into my description box. But Celeste makes her own crushed glass. She makes custom colors. She has a rainbow package. This is the rainbow package. And they are amazing. I am going to do in another video a tray with the crushed glass. So I wanted to show you that. And like I said, the link will be in the video. So today what we're going to start with is the turtle life cycle kit you can get this at michael's and if they are sold out they sell them on amazon i will leave the links in the description box for that this is also from michael's this is just a shadow box um here's a smaller version the shadow box looks like this you just take the back off um take it apart and you just want the glass and the frame and what I actually did you're gonna need Elmer's clear glue is I just sealed the frame with the glue sealed the glass down into the frame and I let it sit for 24 hours Celeste was super awesome and actually showed me how to do this step by step so we're gonna need today Elmer's glue, a cup, and some sand. If you, my beach sand is really crappy um, in the Florida Keys. <laughs> we were supposed to have the best beaches, but we do not. And all of our sand is like brought in and it has a bunch of yucky stuff in it. So I just get craft sand off of Amazon. And I'm gonna use from Island Micas and More, the Island Wave formula to keep the sand white. And I'm going to wipe this off because it has been in my mica studio and Lord knows what is on it. And we're going to build up the sand today. That's the first step we're going to do. Okay, so my filming spot is kind of funky. So I'm trying to make sure everything gets in the frame. And I'm looking for a stir stick because I never have anything that I'm supposed to have when I'm filming videos. So I'm trying to open my stir stick pack. You think I'd have like everything here ready for me, but I'm all over the place. So I'm gonna get my Elmer's glue and I have a clear cup and I'm gonna pour, this is such a small bottle. But I would say it's just little, a little less like than a quarter. And then I'm going to pour, I'm going to get my Island Micas Surf's Up Waves. And I'm going to put one drop in there. That was a little more than a drop, but we're okay. I'm going to stir it up. Did you guys just, I mean, you can't see me off camera, but I literally just pulled out a stir stick and then went in my drawer and got another stir stick. So the glue now looks white. And then I'm going to pour my sand about... yay much about a little more than halfway be quiet computer I might need a little more sand you you want it to be 
Celeste described the consistency, or her husband did. I think that was her husband filming, like Play-Doh. You want it to be wet, but not too wet. And the white um, that I used is going to keep it from turning dark when the resin is put over it. I'm gonna pull my little turtles out. I don't need them yet, but I'm still gonna do it. Well, the first, the first one I need is the nest. Here's a little nest and it's brown and we're going to cover that up. Um, so I'm just mixing and I feel like I need a little more sand because I feel like it's too wet. I love those kids. Stepson that lives with me and my daughter is 19. She moved out, but she comes back and um, spends the night and helps me with the mica business. All right, guys, and don't yell at me, but this is Elmer's glue made for school children, so I'm not going to use gloves for my Elmer's, Elmer's glue. I will when I start using resin. So it's pretty thick, and I'm going to put a little bit here. Um, and I'm just going to start spreading it with my fingers. This is going to be the longest part of the video. The resin part goes really fast. If you get it on the edge of the um, frame, it comes off easy with a baby wipe. But you do not want to get resin on the edge of your frame. Well, actually, what am I talking about? If you get resin on the edge of your frame, you want to wipe it while it's still wet. Or else you're going to scratch the frame up. But we're not even to the resin part, so I don't know why I'm telling you that. So we're making a beach. You can make it go out farther in some parts. You make it however you want it. Celeste was so awesome, she even sent me like a step-by-step -step video on how to do this. And I, I considered like using her video. But she sent it through email and I'm I'm not I don't know how to edit yet unless I'm on computer programs unless I'm using my iPhone, so and also, I wanted to do this because it looks like so much fun.
but she said she was nervous to do filming and she actually did an awesome job. I'll show you hers and mine um when when I'm done whenever when they're, when everything's done. So I'm running my fingers right along the edge to get it right in the edge. She has some other really cool artwork in her Etsy shop. She's really amazing with ocean stuff. And where the sand is getting really thick, I'm just pushing it down to the edge. And I'm just pushing it out. They make these shadow boxes in all different sizes. Um, so you can do smaller ones, bigger ones. I think a round one would re be really cool. Like if you put the island in the center. And now I have so many different ideas. Um, not just the turtle. But I mean you can do sharks. I'm obsessed with sharks. I have shark obsession. It's really sticky. Just working with it and spreading it out. Get it where you want it. Where it's thick, just push on it to spread it. Trying to get one side out more than the other. That's where my turtle can go. My turtle eggs. All right, so now the pain in the butt part is covering this guy with sand. Um, Celeste also said in her little tutorial she made for me that 
if you wanted to make your own she said it was a lot easier than using this if you wanted to make your own nest that you can use pearls like tiny pearls that you use for jewelry and just make a little hole for them and make a little nest. Oop, I'm throwing stuff. So I know kids really shouldn't be playing with resin. Um, you know, some parents, I don't know, I'm getting into a really messy conversation. What I was trying to say though, is that if the some parents that do let their kids help them with resin projects, this would be the fun part for the kid because there's no resin involved. They could play with this icky gooky sand you know, like Play-Doh. So I can't remember if I said it or not, but when I glued the glass in with the Elmer's glue, I let it sit for 24 hours. And when we're done with this sand part, we will also let it sit for 24 hours. We need to cover up all the brown spots. And I'm looking for a little toothpick that I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna use a tiny a tiny um popsicle stick. Because you want to cover up the brown part, but you do not want to cover up the actual little eggs. What, kitty, you have to go out? You want to go out, kitty? Kitty, I got glue all over my hands. If I open the door, it's going to be tragic. That's probably why I should have had gloves on. I'm getting there. One sec. I need those paper towels. Just wipe myself up a little bit. I'm trying to cover it up, but I'm also trying to show the shape of the nest. coming inside let me see if I could zoom in oh nope all right never mind I'll do it up close afterwards 
I'm covering the brown part, but the eggs are still showing. Looking in my own camera, does it look like a little nest? Any sand that got over here, I'm just sliding it back. TV out there I'm trying to concentrate you can still see a little bit of the brown back here There it is. The shape is starting to form. You want it thin around the edges. Fun stuff. All right. I'm gonna take a little pause and grab some seashells and some starfish. All right, so when I was while I was gathering all my stuff together, I took the time with the baby wipe to just clean the edges off of the frame, um, brush off any sand. I took my stick and just lightly, lightly dragged it around the edge of the nest to give it that little sunken in look, you know. around the edges now I'm going to take my hatchling oh wait hold on where's my toothpick I'm gonna make some little marks here like the little turtle came out of the nest I'm gonna put my little hatchling turtle right there and I'm gonna put my teenager turtle over here just going into the water and I'm gonna put my adult turtle out here in the deep ocean we'll worry about him later I'm just gonna set him there and then you can do anything you want to the beach um Celeste put some cool shells she even put a little piece of like a tree it looks like you know like a tree floated up some coral all kinds of stuff I have some um sand dollars I feel like they're a little big for the scale but I like them and um, I always Mod Podge my sand dollars before I put resin on them because if not, sometimes they turn um, translucent, like see-through. The resin does that to them. I have some sea glass. If you watch my videos, any project I do with Blue Ocean, I love to put some blue sea, gla sea glass around because it brings out that blue in the ocean. And I have a bag full of seashells. So I'm just going to lay maybe a piece of sea glass over here. I'm going to put a sand dollar 
over there. Like I said, it's a little bit big. And then maybe some shells around the sea glass. Some little shells over here. Celeste, her shells are so much, um, so much prettier than mine. She actually collects hers off the beach and they're gorgeous. I told her that she needs to start selling them in her Etsy shop because they are absolutely gorgeous. See, um, along with her crushed glass and seashells, it would be amazing. I'm gonna put another piece of glass. Oh no, we got glass on the beach with turtles. Is that bad? Dangerous. It's a pretty little white shell. My gosh, my battery's dying. Here is some kind of little piece of coral. And just throw up here. It's too close to the turtle. Over here. All right, guys. So my phone is dying. Of course, I I didn't charge it, but I'm just going to lay some starfish and then um what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry for 24 hours. And then I will come back tomorrow night and we'll do the resin part, which is the final step. And I feel like I just got crazy stuff going on. Celeste was more smooth and like going with the flow. Maybe I should just leave it. Too many starfish, I'm overdoing it. Boom, right there. All right, so that's it. We're gonna let the sand dry for 24 hours. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do the ocean. So thank you guys for watching so much and I will see you tomorrow night. Hey guys, so I decided to split the last part of the video up in two, so it's going to be two parts. Um, I'm going to put the clear resin on my beach, and then I'm going to wait a little while and pour the ocean. You do not have to do this, you could do this all at once, um, just for the filming, I thought it would be easier. Um, so you can use a silicone stick, I'm going to use a brush, because I like to be able to feel what I'm doing, but I am just going to cover my beach with resin cover my seashells even my turtle I like to use the brush because I can kind of feel what I'm doing you want to get right up to the edge Right up to the edge of the frame. Over this turtle. If some of that gets on the glass, don't even worry about it.
I'm even going to cover this guy out here in the ocean. I'm going to hold his little leg down. and leave him right there where I want him. And then I'm gonna come along the line of the beach. And I'm just dropping a little clear resin. Along the line of the beach. You probably, I mixed up two ounces of resin, you probably only needed one. Make sure everything's covered. I'm even gonna color those eggs, it's gonna make them shiny. And then like I said, you can go straight into pouring your beach, but I'm gonna stop and come back in a little bit um, before I go, I want to clean up my mess on the sides, any resin that are on the sides while it's still wet. I'm going to take a torch, going to get my respirator on, and I'm just going to do a little heat over to make sure that I pop any bubbles, mostly on the shoreline, a little bit on the sand. Don't burn your shells, you can burn your starfish. But that's it, literally, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna let this cure for a little while, and I'm gonna come back and do the final part, which is the ocean. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in a couple hours. Hey guys, um, so it's actually the next day it took me a little longer to get back to this project. So that's fine, we have a clear path going here so it doesn't, the blue doesn't get up onto the sand and change the color of the sand. Um, so today I mixed up eight ounces of resin um, we're going to, I'm going to use an embossing gun this time. It's just a miniature heat gun. I'm really excited about that instead of using my big heat gun. Okay, from my store, Island Micas and more, I'm going to be using my Island Waves Surfs Up Waves formula. So my white, and I'm going to be using Tahitian turquoise and stormy waters. So a turquoise and a blue. Also from my store, this was, um... Celeste's idea and it was great. Um, this is Mermaid Tears. It's a interference chameleon and we're gonna put a little bit in the blues to give it a little pretty shimmer. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up my blues. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Mermaid Tears. Um, this is the full size, it comes with a little spoon and I'm going to use about a quarter of the spoon. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to prepare a little bit of white. I, you only need a little bit. I'm going to put this to the side for my white. And I'm going to split this up. I'm going to leave a little bit of clear left in the container. This was eight ounces. I'm using KS resin as always. Um, I'm a KS resin girl. Um, you can always get a discount by using code KeyWest, one word. Their resin is awesome. Heat resistant up to 475 degrees. Um, I'm going to mix up my white. 
You only need a drop. And I'm gonna put that to the side to sit. Don't even need this much weight. And then I'm gonna do my stormy waters. I put a squirt. And that's going to mix up with the mermaid tears. And then I'm gonna mix up my turquoise. I'm gonna put a little bit more mermaid tears. I used a lot more pigment than Celeste did and I don't see it that much. I just put a little sprinkle into each color. And I'm gonna want my darker blue over by the turtle because he's going out to deep sea. So I'm just going to start pouring my turquoise. up to the beach line, up to the frame. And I'm just moving it with my popsicle stick. Right now, I feel like that silicone tool that I had yesterday could come in handy. Between today and yesterday, I have no clue where it could be. Let me get another one. I carry these in my um, shop too. And it's just perfect to be able to push that resin up to the edge. Now I have a little baby wipe just to wipe because I'm messy. And then I'm gonna come with the blue, the dark blue. And I am seeing a lot of shimmer. I probably overdid it as usual with the shimmer, but. I'm going to put a little more of this white, I mean the clear, sorry, into the dark blue. I 
I'm not even going to add any more tint to it because there's enough in there. And I'm going to really make sure that I get around this turtle. And up to the beach line. All right, and then I'm just going to do a little swirling here for interest to mix the beaches up. Not the beaches, the ocean. What am I talking about? All right, I'm going to put this off to the side. Clean up my hands a bit. And I'm gonna use my, let me get my respirator. Granger.com for VOCs. And I'm just going to blow my beach around, my ocean. Why do I keep calling it a beach? I'm gonna blow my ocean around a little bit. Use my torch a bit. Just mixing those colors up, popping the bubbles. Don't spray the don't hit the tur don't hit the turtles. Okay, now I'm gonna get my white. Um, I'm gonna get a little Q-tip. Because I see a tiny little blue on the turtle's um foot. So I'm going to get my white and I'm going to come right on the edge. Of the beach. I'm going to put some around my turtle. And I'm going to put a little wave out here. And then on my beach, I'm going to go over the white with a little bit of clear. And let's see if I'm able to use this. Um, I've never, like I said, I've never used this before. I might come back with my heat gun, but we will see. But first I'm gonna torch the white up just a little bit to heat it up and let it be able to move easier. All right.
I'm just going to start blowing this white out. I put so much white right there. And I'm just pushing it out. In brushing motion, sweeping motions, I would say. I'm gonna hit this wave back and forth. I'm pointing my gun down on this one. And down around the turtle. And I'm going to break it up with the torch. I'm going to break this up with the torch. And I'm going to break. My ocean up a bit with a torch. My beach waves. So I definitely used too much white there, which is fine. But all in all. Let me get my little turtle has some little blue here. All in all, I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna let this cure. I really wanna go back and mess with that, but I need to just leave it alone. Um, Celeste's got a little more lacing than mine. I think I maybe used too much tint. I want You wanna use only a couple drops. My tint is a little bit too heavy, but it still came out really cool. So I'm gonna let this cure and then I will take it outside and do some photos for you guys to see. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Celeste, for letting me make this. It was um, letting me recreate your creation. It was so much fun. I had a lot of fun doing it. And thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Guys, while it's still wet and I'm showing you up close, make sure if you got any resin on the sides, you take a baby wipe and clean it while it's still wet. Hey guys so this is all done um i'm outside there's not too much light out here but i'm really excited how it came out it is super pretty let me get it up close and then i'm gonna show you the one that celeste made and you can just feel the texture of the sand i'm loving my little turtle nest so the one that Celeste made is much lighter. I'm going to scroll over or move the camera over to hers. This is hers. 
and she achieved hers to be more lighter by using less drops of the pigment tint so for the stormy waters I believe she used like two drops and then or it was three and then for the turquoise she used like two drops S super light her shells are beautiful and like I said you guys should try this it's really so much fun I really loved doing it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you next time. Bye.